The stress of the past two years is now rippling across King County schools, according to district behavioral health experts. A lot of students came back feeling isolated, feeling lonely. In Kent, a little bit more than 1,100 students. And out of those students, we're seeing about 20% screen of what we call red. And in Seattle, it was really hard to be home during the pandemic. Testing has revealed a trend. We have seen a slight increase in our rates of students reporting symptoms of depression or symptoms of anxiety. The districts are just a couple that will receive additional King County financial support to determine the depths of the problem. It could not be more clear that we have a crisis in behavioral health, mental health, uh, in our youth. The numbers are staggering. The CDC says one in three high school students suffered mentally during the pandemic, and the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force recommends anxiety screening in children between 8 and 18. Here in King County, public health says suspected suicide attempts increased in middle schoolers in July through September of 21, compared to the previous two years. And the Washington Poison Center says suicide attempts among female teens are up as well. King County using the best starts for kids property tax levy and an existing behavioral health sales tax will expand the use of its SBERT program for middle schoolers and into high schools, which helps to allocate additional counselors and treatment. We've invested more than $16 million. We're actually releasing the new set of, of contracts uh, over the course of this year. It may be eventually just a drop in the bucket for what's needed after the pandemic put a hard stop in childhood development. Yeah, the expansion of that SBIRT program really gets rolled out in the fall with those additional middle schoolers and high schoolers. The assessment also allows the district to allocate physical and emotional resources as needed. That's the story for now. Live in Kent, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.